the learners have been given the small thing. I've got this big one, so that hopefully it'll be easier for you to see. So in a tablet like this, when it opens up, those loaded ones, you go into my files, all right? And there's one that says IWIS, we tap on IWIS, and here we have Isizulu, English, and Maths Literacy. I'm not going to open the Isizulu one, you will beg me to shut up if I start trying to speak. All of you, someday, hey, don't talk, don't talk, please. So let me have a look at the English one. So we open up English. Now, what we've got for English is another folder. So we open up the IWIS, there was the subject. Open up the subject, we've got term one, term two, and term three. And there's no term four in grade 12. Yeah. We, that's why we haven't done a great term four. So we open up term one, and now we've got videos. We've got the subject requirements, which is your cat's dog, so you can follow it. And then we've got an ebook. The ebook is our version of the summary of the entire syllabus. So we've taken um, the four or five different textbooks that are out in the market, we've pulled the best from all of them, condensed them into one book. So hopefully that will be sufficient. So let's have a look at some other videos. We click on videos. There's all the video lessons. All the video lessons are there. You find the subject that you want, and then you just press play. So there's all the subjects, I mean all the, the two lessons. So let's have a look. What are we going to do? How do you write a reflective essay? I'm going to teach reflective essay. Mm -hmm. So what is a reflective essay? A reflective essay is when you have a topic and you think, is it this, is it that? Could it be this, could it be that? And you don't come to a conclusion. Because that's because all you're doing is presenting points and ideas, right? Ah, where's the volume? Okay, so this was my colleague who's no longer with us. This is her voice. <laughs> Sharon, which is the volume here? It's difficult to do an animation for a reflective essay, but this is the kind of thing, right? So let's just, hey, uh, Yvette, it. Pull it. Pull it There's like six or seven different styles of learning, like kinesthetic learning, and audio learning, and visual learning, and practical learning, and all that kind of stuff. By doing it this way, there is a combination of both visual and audio. So immediately, at 90% of people, 90% of humans learn by using both these methods. We've done it for you. And look at the, cut, look at the colors. We want to keep it. Because that's what kids watch. I mean, have you ever watched children's TV? Think about Pokemon and all those, I mean, um, there's a Pikachu with Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. All those little things that they watch, it's loud and it's big and it's like, Burr. makes me tired sitting there for five minutes. <coughs> okay? So we try to keep all the lessons in a similar kind of way. They're short, they're impactful, and you know what? If you stand there and teach, and the kid walks, your learner, sorry, the, kid, the learner walks out, they forget what you've said to them. Right? Yes. On this, what do they do? They go back and watch it again. Or a third time. I still don't understand. Go back and watch it a fourth time. Watch it again. If, okay. It looks like there's some money in this area. So if they come to school in Daddy's car, and Mommy and Daddy drive them to school, oh, I forgot my homework. In the car, they're watching, and then they come back to school with knowledge in there. 
So that's the principle behind how this app works. It does mean, however, as I said, that you're going to have to turn it back. Back. Okay. Narrative essays. Um, should, we try, should we try another subject? Anyone want to see another subject? Do we have life sciences on here? No. It's on the tablet. Uh, this is just a small sample for me to show you. The tablet will have everything on. Try and This maths is there. Okay. Uh, turn one, two, and three. This is maths literacy. So let's have a look. Ooh. Finance. Who does maths literacy? Mmm. So let's have a look at this. How about converting units of time? Our learners don't know 24 hours, or they know 24 hours, but they don't know Facebook, do they? So you see here, you're getting the audio as well as the video. So it means I can also teach mass video with transition. So this is a very simple one. In some of the more complicated aspects, there will actually be writing going on as the story. So, for me, being able to see this and hear it at the same time, if the learners have already done that, all I have to do is say, remember the picture? Look at yeah. So, it's very, very simple. This app, as I said, it's broken down into subjects, broken down into terms. Every term has all the lessons based on the CAPS requirements. And we also have a little present for you. We are going to give you guys worksheets already done. Oh. So, you might have to make your own worksheets. <laughs> <laughs> so, data handling, measurements, finance. <laughs> this is yours, isn't it? Right. So this, so this immediately gives the learner an understanding of what term one is going to cover. And he's telling them this is the next section, this is the next section, this is the next section.
and I learned none of the sizzle the language stuff. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we've only got three subjects on here. Um, and that's the machine, the English, and the Isuzu. But, ladies and gentlemen, how does that, um, will this make your life easier? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, I just remember when I, I came out of the army in 1989. Right? So I was 24. Came out of the army at 24. Went into my first school at Utongati. Do you know how many learners I had? Eight learners. I then went, we then went to Durban, landed up at Clarence Primary, and I had 38 learners. My whole world just went cool. That was in 1991, 38 learners. That was a big jump in those days. And that was the, in fact, 1991 was the second year of Model C schools. Some of you are old enough to remember the change. Model C, when it, suddenly everyone would come in. So as a teacher, I now had the challenge of dealing with my poor, and this was a very poor area, so I had the white children, I had the Indian children, I had the colored children, and I had the Isuzu children, we had the language differences, we had the cultural differences, and for me it was kind of like, ah. if I'd had this system of teaching, it would have been so much easier. Nowadays, the biggest challenge that you have is numbers in your class. And that's really great. So this, I believe, is not the perfect answer. Because things are always changing and evolving. But the nice thing is, this will make your life easier as you go, as you get further and further into education. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. You. Any questions? No. Yes. Are there any other apps besides the education in in the areas No. We try to minimize it as much as possible. But can they download? Yeah. As far as I know, do you, has that been blocked? Uh, I don't know. Mm. No. It hasn't been blocked. But it, it's Vodacom locked. It's only Vodacom. Because there's no SIM card in there. At the moment, it's just a device for, for playing. But if they put SIM cards in, it has to be Vodacom SIM card only. Then they can use it for other things. But after a year, that lock is undone. They can use that for anything else. Classroom, there's a possibility that while I'm teaching, and asking them to see something else, they'll be looking at something else. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the danger, that's what makes you as a teacher a good manager. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is that they are watching that in their own time in order to learn. The, the principle of the flipped classroom, their learning takes place outside there. When they're in the classroom, you are facilitating the, um, yeah, and you're reinforcing the ideas. And ideally, especially with your humanities subjects, so that's your history, your geography, your life sciences and covered others, it should sti sorry. Ooh. it should stimulate discussion. It's so much easier talking to somebody when they know what they're talking about than trying to talk to somebody who goes, I'm not. I mean, doesn't that make sense? I'd like, because I'd like to have a discussion with my students. But they need to know what the subject is in order to discuss it. Yes? No. How advanced are the, is the English used in the video? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> so how advanced do you think my English is? <laughs> so there will be some ways I have to... Okay, let me be honest with you. Ninety percent of the English on the app is the language component, which I didn't do. Just my colleague, who's no longer, she's not working with us anymore. She explains things beautifully, and there's perfectly language about sentence construction and concord, the relationship between verbs and adjectives and nouns, and what is a compound and a complex sentence. So the mechanics of the language are beautifully explained. My area of speciality is the literature. So I, so for um, home language, for example, I've gone into very heavy debt in Hamlet 
and Macbeth, and what are the themes, what are the, you know, what, what are the motives, what's happening, what the famous quotes, and we discuss things. Um, I try to do the same thing with FAL, but on a slightly more 